What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel. So I haven't seen you guys in some time. So I just want to give you guys an update. I know I haven't been posting a lot. Uh, so we're just going to ride around for just a little bit and uh, just talk about why I haven't been posting as much. Just kind of what's going on with me. Just an update for you guys. Um, I used to post like three or four times a day. And now last week I posted twice. I think the week before that I didn't post anything. And then tomorrow and then this week now I'm posting once or maybe twice. So um yeah, I just want to give you guys just an update and we're just going to drive around and just talk for just a second, all right? I need a new battery, man. It's time for a new battery. Why haven't I been posting? So lately, I've been doing just a lot of thinking just about kind of, you know, where my life is right now. Um, and this is kind of like maybe a deep video, but it's just me sharing my thoughts. It ain't nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know... I used to always have what I call like Lamborghini dreams, right? So I always wanted a Lamborghini, right? And the first time that I seen it was on uh, GUI's So Anxious video. He had a black Diablo and it was just like the hottest thing that I had ever seen. And when I growing up, I wanted a Lamborghini. I went to college and you know, everybody in college has this mentality that like, I'm gonna make so much money when I graduate and I had the same thought process. But then it's like you graduate and things aren't as cool as what they seem. Now I will say that my goal was to uh, go to law school once I graduated and I did not go to law school like I thought I would. And you know, and I thought once I graduated law school, that's where the money would come, that's where I would get the Lamborghini. Over the last few years, I've been thinking about going back to school, going to law school, and I've had people like tell me like, man, you got, you have the degrees, you don't need any more degrees because you can find a job that pays really well. Now, fast forward, um, you know, I paid off my student loans. I don't want to go to law school just because it's so expensive to go to law school. I don't want to take on more debt. Once I hit 30 years old, I didn't even like, I kind of like let go of my, my Lamborghini dreams. I was like, yo, it's not going to happen. You know, it's just a lot harder than what I think and what I thought. But now, lately, I've just been doing a lot of thinking. I've been watching uh, Will Motivation. I don't know if you guys watch him or if you're familiar with him, but I've been watching his videos. And, um, you know, he has two Lamborghinis, a Huracan, a, a Huracan Aventador, and a uh, Ferrari. I think it's an F12. And it's like he just talks about real estate and how he does real estate. Seeing his videos is really encouraging. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes me really want to get out there and get after it and, 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 and not give up on my Lamborghini dreams, you know what I'm saying? I really want to make it happen because I know it's possible. Like, I know I can do it. So that's where I'm at right now. You know, I was doing the, the YouTube channel, which I'm still doing it, um, but I've just been doing so much research lately just on, you know, real estate um, and, and, and making sure that I can kind of push myself to the next level, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I make bad money. I make okay money. Um, you know, I work two jobs, I work a lot, but it's just that I'm not at the level that I thought I would be at at this age, you know? And I can sit down and complain about it or I can try to do something about it, you know? And so I'm at that point where like, okay, I need to do something about it. It's time to take action, you know? I, I'm a very um, low risk type of person. You know, I, I went to high school, I graduated. My mom instilled in me that like, you're going to college. So I thought that was what everybody did. Um, I didn't know about trade school. I didn't know about just being an entrepreneur. It was like go to school because that's what you're supposed to do. So then I go to school and uh, you know I graduate early, you know, three and a half years instead of four because I was just on my game. Um, you know, and even going back to high school. In high school, I had a job while I was in high school, and then over the summer I would work two jobs. So I've always always been a hard worker, and I know that if I put my mind to something, I can accomplish it. I just want to make sure that I can do something that's going to bring me some extra income. I'm one of those people that like I get motivated by seeing certain things so you know I started doing the YouTube channel but um, this car it just costs so much money and I'm thinking about just getting into real estate for me I'm the type of person where like you know I've had buddies kind of get involved in pyramid schemes and they get caught up and and they're just like oh man you know and it, they didn't lose a lot of money but they lost some money and I've never been in a position where I feel like I have money to lose and Lately, the last few years, I feel like I, I am able to do that, right? So a few years ago, I got into the stock market and I was up like $17,000 over like just maybe six months. It was like crazy how it was happening. Um, I was up and then I fell for the GameStop BS and I, I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of that money. 
you know what I'm saying? So I didn't lose my own money. I wasn't ever down, uh, but I lost a lot of the profits that I had made. Now, then I was talking to my buddy. So my buddy has this property because I was like, well, maybe I should just get into property. Talking to like, you know, because of real motivation, he talks about real estate. So I was thinking, about it, maybe I should just go ahead and get into getting some property. So I hit my buddy up and I was like, yo, you know, my brother pretty much. I was like, hey man, like I'm trying to find something like what you got in terms of property. And he was like, yo, you ain't gonna find that around here no more. And I was like, what you mean? So my, my, my brother bought this property for um, 75,000, I think. And he's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's worth over 200,000 now. And I'm like, what? And I'm one of those people that like, once I see somebody I know being successful in something, then I'm like, okay, now I believe it, right? Because everybody talks about real estate. Everybody's like, yo, this is the key. Just like they talk about um, stocks, you know what I'm saying? And for some people, stocks do take off. So, you know, now I'm like, okay, now I see it. Now I see it. Now I know it's possible, you know? Um, and, and again, with stocks, right? So, um, you know, so this guy, he was saying how he's gonna buy stock. And, you know, he started to invest into uh, my part-time job. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. And at this time I wasn't able, or I wasn't in, in the right mindset to start investing, but I was like, yeah, that's cool. And I started paying attention to it. So it was like $500 a share, then went up to $800 a share, then it dropped down to 600. So I noticed a pattern that whenever the summer would come around, the stocks would drop a little bit. So I was telling myself like, well, I'm gonna wait until next summer and it's gonna drop and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. And I think I bought some and then I sold it and I just wasn't patient with the process. And now that stock that was once $500 and went up to 800, 900, is $1,900, right? So that's just another example of it painting the picture for me. Like, you know, and I'm not saying, I know we gotta have our fun, we gotta enjoy life, but here I am buying like this car and this car continuously needs something fixed. And I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, shit on the car or nothing like that, but I just constantly put money into this car. You know what I'm saying? Like I put $13,000 into this car after buying it for $13,000. And I fixed the trans, the engine, and the uh, differential. So all the main components are good. And that stuff costs probably about between $8,000 8, 8, and $8,500. But there's another $5,000 out there that I've spent on this car um, of just like small miscellaneous things, like stuff that I don't even add up, right? And, and it may be like the master cylinder I put in or like the brake kit or whatever it may be, but it's like that stuff is amounting to $5,000. So I'm just at a point where I want to stop spending money on what I consider small things so I can really live out the dreams that I want to live out, right? You know, the C5 is a great car. I love the platform. I love the car, but you know, to, honestly, I know I'm gonna get flack for this. It ain't no Lamborghini, and that's just how I think about it. You know, and I want I want a Lamborghini. That's the, my car of choice. I've always loved those cars, and it's possible. It's not impossible. I mean, you got to think about like the money I make right now. My expenses are low. I'm I'm in a good, very good position. If I can get me a few properties and bring in, you know, if I can get five properties, but bringing in $500 a piece, and bring in $2,500, you know, a month at some point over the next few years, I can get that Lamborghini, right? And my properties can pay for it. And there's a possibility that I can also gain equity in the properties over time. So what I wanna do in regards to like the property is I wanna find me a duplex. I'm gonna find me a duplex that I can live in one, one side and I can rent the other side. And in that way, um, I can decrease my expenses as well, but I also have a house. So if I can get rid of my, my housing costs, and that would be even more money that I can save. So I wanna buy a house this year, buy a property this year, hopefully rent out one side, live in the other side, a duplex, and then I can go ahead and start saving up for another property next year. And hopefully I can buy another duplex next year. And then once I buy that other duplex, I can move into that and I'll rent out both sides on, uh, on the one that I get this year. So that's the ultimate goal is to start investing in property. Um, I mean, I just see so many videos that like people are like, yo, real estate is where it is. And it probably is. You gotta think about like over 10, 15 years, how our economy changes. It changes a lot, you know what I'm saying? And that can go for stocks as well, but I don't know. You have to pick the right stocks. Um, you know, I didn't think that, you know, uh, automotive store was gonna take off the way it took off. You know what I'm saying? Amazon's doing well. And now I hear that they're gonna do a split soon. If they do a split, I am jumping in. 
I hear Amazon is supposed to do a 20 to 1 split and right now their stock is 2900 bucks. So a 20 to 1 or a 1 to 20 split would be uh, $180. Right? Look, I may if, if I don't find a property and that happens, I would almost put 10,000 on that right there alone. Same thing with uh, you know, AutoZone stock, right? AutoZone stock is like really taking off. And it's uh it's 1900. So if they were to do a a split like that, then that's a that's a nice little chunk of change that it would go up. Would it go back up to a thousand? Who knows? But if it does, that's some good money. So anyway, that's just where I'm at. I know I rambled a little bit, but uh what it comes down to, like I said, is that you know I'm just at a point where I gotta figure out what's next for me to take me to that next level, you know what I'm saying? Um and I think it's gonna be real estate. I do. I think it's gonna be real estate, grab some property and just uh make some progress so i'm gonna try to take you guys along this road is terrible right here i'm gonna try to take you guys along the uh the, the process and the journey of me getting my first property uh getting my first duplex and hopefully moving into you know that that property but um i'll keep the car stuff coming but more than likely next year I'll, i may get rid of this car and use it towards a down payment on another property and just keep repeating that process as much as i can at least over the next few years and that way i can put myself in a really good position i appreciate you guys riding along with me talking to me uh or listening to me uh just ramble on about you know what i'm going to do in regards to why i haven't been posting uh, i may not have the energy that i always have but it's coming i'm excited and uh, i think this is going to be a really really good opportunity something really good to get into so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button uh share your thoughts are you got any of you guys in real estate uh, do you guys prefer to invest in the stock market? Like, what's your method of investing?